So your wife's stonewalling you, what do you do? Hey, Cody Butler here, marriage coach and founder of Better Marriage. And today I want to talk to you about what do you do if your wife's stonewalling you? She's refusing to engage in the conversation or the conversation is just very, very functional. She's not going deep at all. She doesn't really want to have a conversation. Now, the first thing to understand is that this is a very, very serious situation. When a woman gets to the point to where she's stonewalling, and let's just define that very quickly. What I mean by that is she's withdrawing from conversation. She's not talking to you she doesn't want to conversate with you, or she's just very, very functional in her conversation. She doesn't want to get emotional. She doesn't want to have any depth of the conversation at all. When a woman is doing this, this is very serious. The end of the relationship is very, very close at this point. Because let me explain what that means. A woman needs conversation like a man needs sex. Conversation to a woman is like water. A woman that is not having that conversation is in a desert. And if your wife has put herself voluntarily into a situation where she's not talking to you, she's withdrawn from the conversation, then she is very, very close to leaving the relationship and it is imperative that you take action immediately. So if you wanna do this, if you're in this situation, how do you start to turn it around? Well, the first thing to do is to understand cause and effect, right? Now, a lot of times we look at a problem in the relationship, such as stonewalling, or narcissistic behavior or something along, along those lines. And we look at that behavior as the cause of the problems, right? We say, my wife is not talking to me and that is causing problems in the relationship. My wife is refusing to communicate and that is causing problems in the relationship. Now, the issue with this is that the stonewalling is the effect of the problem, not the cause of the problem. It's not causing your problems any more than somebody with measles saying these spots on my face are causing these measles. It's the other way around. So what we need to do here is to understand what is the core underlying reason that the stonewalling is coming about? What is the actual cause of the problem? Because unless we can get to the cause and to the root cause of the problem, working on the effect is never going to help. Giving you a communication strategy, giving you a conversation strategy, giving you a blueprint, all of that stuff isn't going to get her talking to you and tearing the wall down unless we understand what the root cause of the problem is. And there are a couple of problems here that we need to address. Now, the first one is going to be that emotional safety and security has been utterly destroyed to the point to where a woman would rather spend her life in a desert than talking to you. Now, I know this sounds harsh, brother, but I'm here to help you not to make you feel good about yourself, right? Now, if your woman is not talking, it's because every time she talks to you, every time she has a conversation with you, it's painful for her, it causes her pain. Now, not talking is also extremely painful. For her to choose that pain over the pain of communication really lets us know that there are some major fundamental flaws within the communication that we're having with her that's causing her significant pain, significant frustration. Now, where the confusion really happens here is as men, we don't understand the damage that our conversation is doing. We're logical and a woman is emotional. We communicate at a logical level, a woman communicates at an emotional level. Now this is the fundamental cause of a lot of the problems and why stonewalling comes about. Now as, as a problem solver, as a logical person, we don't respond to emotion very well. When a woman presents an emotional problem, we simply want to bash it, we want to squash it, we want to destroy it. And the more, and the more quickly we do that, the faster that we do that, the, the better that we see ourselves as a problem solver, right? If we can solve her problem very quickly, from our logical state of mind, we've done a great job, we've been efficient, we've been logical, we've solved the problem. But the problem is, she did not want the problem solved. She was coming at it from a state of emotion she wanted her emotion to be understood and effectively what has been what has happened here is instead of her emotion being about being being about being validated being connected with being understood and being heard that emotion has been quashed and her feelings her emotion her relevance has been completely invalidated and it's a very very frustrating situation now this is where a lot of stonewalling comes from now it can go deeper than that as well so that is level 1 of of the problem. It's not understanding that she's wants to, she's wanted to be understood at an emotional level, not having a problem solved. This will lead to a lack of communication. This will cause that problem. Now the second problem is if every time your wife attempts to communicate with you, it causes a fight, it causes conflict. She gets that conditioned stimulus that talking to you equals a fight and fight equals pain. So maybe all of this is going on simultaneously, right? Maybe that when she brings stuff up, her emotions are not recognized and they're dealt with logically, which to us is the right way to do it, but to her it's very insensitive. 
And maybe also that when she communicates, there's a chance of a fight or a misunderstanding or something unpleasant happen, happening. Or it could be even worse than that. Let's, let's go to the third level, and that is when she talks, she's verbally attacked by you. She's put down, she's told that her views are worthless. They have make no sense whatsoever. And again, a lot of times as men, we can get this confused because we think that we're being helpful, we think that we're being logical, when actually we're not. We're being very insensitive and we're really invalidating and destroying the woman's sense of relevance within the relationship and relevance within herself. So when you get these three levels happening, she's going to start to withdraw. When she learns that communication with you is painful, she's going to start to withdraw. And again, we can use the term emotional safety and security. This is the foundation to restoring a relationship. We can use these terms unless we can see how these are actually actually applicable within the relationship, within the marriage. It's simply knowledge without application. And knowledge without application is absolutely useless to you. We've got to take this information. What brings about transformation within your marriage is aggressively seeking out new behavior and radically applying it to your marriage. You can understand now why you your wife is stonewalling. But unless you take that information and you apply it to the marriage, revelation, information without application is simply useless. Now, hopefully you can see that that emotional safety and security to where she come, when she comes to you, she feels like she can be heard. She feels like she can be understood. She feels like her viewpoint is valid. She feels like she has a role in the relationship. When that has been removed, then communication for her becomes extremely, extremely painful and she's going to start to withdraw more and more and more. And I'm guessing that this has happened over a period of time where she starts to withdraw, hoping that she's sending a signal. It doesn't get met, so she withdraws more and more until finally she arrives at a point to where communication is utterly pointless and actually trying to talk to you is going to be more painful than not talking to you. And as we've mentioned, that is an extremely painful situation. So what we need to do is fundament understand that fundamentally what the cause of the stonewalling is, is that emotional safety and security has been eroded, it's been, it's been destroyed, and the way to get her back talking to you, to bring her back into the conversation because she wants to talk to you, she just thinks it's hopeless, right? She just thinks it's pointless. And when hope leaves the marriage, that's when partners, when people start leaving the marriage. So what we need to do here is to show her that communication is not pointless, that we can re-establish that emotional safety and security. We can re-establish boundaries for conversation. We can show her that she can be acknowledged, loved, heard, understood, and that communication is not a pointless situation. And that's what we talk about in the Win Your Wife Back program. There's some information in the description about that if you're interested in that. If not, take this video, take this information, and look at how you can re-establish emotional safety and security. If your wife is stonewalling you, this is fundamentally the solution to the problem. The cause of the stonewalling is a lack of safety and security within the communication or the boundaries of communication, and the effect of that is stonewalling. And don't deceive yourself and think that the stonewalling is what's caused, causing problems within the marriage. Don't project the problems onto your wife and say, I'm having all these issues in my marriage because she won't talk to me anymore. Go back to the cause of the problem, which is emotional safety and security, and work on that, and you will see the effect change. I hope that's helpful. I hope that helps someone. Bless you, and I'll talk to you very soon.